Go ahead and say social media. <laughs> social media. Social media say that. Social media say I mean, a lot of things. Like, you know. Social media say a lot about makeup. Look what you got on. Oh. oh you right. Did you see your girlfriend at the gym today? Yeah. She speak? Yeah, she asked how y'all was doing. And what'd you tell her? Are you doing good, you know? Kids is good. I told her you was making ceviche tonight. And what'd she say? She asked if we could make her a plate and wrap some up in tin foil so I can give it to her. And you gonna take some of our food to your girlfriend's house? Yeah, she hoping that one day we could probably get the families together. Yeah. <laughs> Say, bro, I'm glad there's more men out there that's just like me because, man, you come at me with the stupid questions like that, I'm going right along with you. Straight up, yep. She said, can you bring a plate over? As a matter of fact, she trying to see if y'all can be sister wives. You about that? You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes when I ask you for it, you'll be like, nah, not today. You need a sister wife to tag in in moments like this. Yeah, I'm taking it for. I don't care. God damn it. Straight up. <laughs> I swear to God, right hand on the Bible. Yeah, man. See how tired you is right now? See, right now would be a perfect time to call sister wife over here. Man, she gonna get me right while you can go sleep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, don't do what I do, fellas. That's the quickest way to get in your head, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that might work for me, hey? I ain't gonna say it's gonna work. Some of y'all date women that hit men. Yeah. Gotta measure this. Yeah. I said, can hold it. Hey. Hey man, I ain't gonna lie, that was funny, dog. <laughs> Look at these comments, though. Somebody said, thought my name was until I was 10. <laughs> Homie just gained consciousness. <laughs> Y'all niggas in the comments crying ain't have no dads. Hey, it is what it is. Bro was like, oh shit, I gotta lock in. Hey man, when you got a father, bro, it's real, man. Ain't no slacking off, man. Hey, bro, real talk, I remember vividly, bro, we were chopping wood in Mississippi, somewhere outside of Jackson. I call myself taking a breather, a break. My daddy was like, hey, partner, hey, 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 uh-uh, get the, mm-mm, I don't want y'all that, man. Straight up, man. Ain't the time to be resting and stuff like that. We got to get this done, load this truck up and get back to the crib. I'm like, oh, Lord. Man, nigga, say, bro, chopping wood hard? Yeah. See, a lot of y'all city slickers ain't never chopped no wood, man. It's hard, bro. It's the reason why Muhammad Ali was out there swinging that axe, man, getting that body right, bro. That stuff hard, bro. I guarantee you right now, a boy from the country, eight, nine years old, man, he probably can hang with a grown ass man from the city. I'm talking about as far as like labor, you put the city boy in the woods with him, he ain't gonna be able to keep up. I promise you, bro. Them farm boys is different. <laughs> Baby, when y'all having that 50 50 conversation, I mind my good married business. Because I just want to know what dudes y'all have that are able to afford rent, gas, utilities, food, clothes, okay. your maintenance, sections and bottles at the club, kids, diapers, child support, milk, soda, food again, because we're big bags. I just want to know what jobs they're working. I like them. Especially these blue collar <laughs> workers, like hard working men, like, you know what I'm saying, the ones that are top. Here, what jobs are they working and the salaries that they're actually obtaining to be able to afford all of this? Now, if they are doing illegal activities, then I have a complete understanding of it. It's just do your thing. But if they're not, baby, how they're affording you and their own lifestyle? Rent is $2,500 at minimum if you're staying somewhere decent, and really, it's not even somewhere decent. That's a bedroom and a bathroom. So, I'm just, just trying to figure out what, what we doing. Say, bro, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I don't want to live nowhere where the rent to live somewhere halfway decent costs $2,500. i am going to stay my black ass right where I'm at. Yeah. I ain't got time to go up there, bro. That's a lot of stress to be putting on a man. I'm somebody child. I want to live straight up. I want to live past the average life expectancy of a man. I think it's like 72. All this kind of stuff right here ain't going to do nothing but shave life off you. Real talk, trying to put up with one of these big eyelash, lace front, weave wearing women who think that they deserve a high value man just because they're a woman and don't offer nothing in uh, no type of reciprocity. You get what I'm saying? Like, like, what do you bring to the table? I'm sorry, it's an age old question, but really, what do you bring to the table? If I'm doing all of this, I'm paying $2,500 rent. I got you in a Beamer, a Benz, whatever it is you want to drive. I'm taking care of kids putting food on the table we taking vacations i'm planning for our future so that we ain't got to work well i ain't got to work because you ain't working obviously what are you doing in return 
I'm just saying, like, real talk, what are you doing that I couldn't get a maid to do for a fraction of the price? Once you answer that question and you can fulfill what you say you would do, then we can have a conversation. But before that, bro, like, paying all of a woman bill, dog, I ain't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? What I got going over here, that's my business. You see what I'm saying? But I told y'all how I rock and what my situation is. But I'm talking about one of you dudes meeting a female today and then a year from now you already taking care of this woman i don't know brother i wouldn't suggest that you know what i'm saying straight up soft guy era um i don't like the trouser i don't like it uh, looks like my dad's uh, but that was my dad's trouser uh, <laughs> all this gold papa trouser mm, but he's handsome you are cute like you're okay i like your skin yeah, thank like, you everything but then and the shoes uh, it's giving that shark kitty bobo, let me do that thing mm -hmm. So yeah, oh, yeah okay, yeah, 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 okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, but not mine. Well, I've, I'm a vintage person, so like this is my style. Mm. Yeah, and it takes advanced people to actually recognize stuff ah. like this. Ah, ah. Yeah. So you're saying she's an illegal- Hey man, soft guy error, bro. He said this is a vintage look right here. This is antique. This is classical. <laughs> you wouldn't understand it. You got a smooth brain. <laughs> My boy said, your, 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 your brain ain't got no wrinkles on it, man. You know what I'm saying? Smooth as a marble. <laughs> hey, man, I like dude, bro. Say, bro, you know what's crazy? Go back to the first clip in the video when he said y'all be basing y'all attraction level on how a man dressed whole time. He a little slow. He a couple of fries short of a Happy Meal. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got a whole 10 piece nugget. He only got nine. I'm, I'm being real with y'all. Based off, he looks like your dad, you said? Yeah, like you give me daddy vibes, Call but not like, then. not the yeah. real dad vibes. Uh, what we talking about? Not what we talking one. about? My father dad. Oh, oh daddy. Hey, so why did you pop? I popped my balloon because I don't like a nigga who just want everything. Like, that. I'm not going for that. You gotta be bougie with your dick. Based like, off Listen, baby, I like my niggas mean. I, I need my niggas to be I'm not your nigga. Oh, I'm not your I nigga. What we talking about? How old are you? I'm 23 years old. Okay, why? Man, whole time she want her nigga to be mean she want him to have bougie pennsylvania whole time she got community virginia water park she extra friendly she kiki ki, 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 all up in people face men faces she popping bottles at the club but she ain't paid for none of them she all in the nigga section in the vip all that i'm telling you dog one way they want you to behave is the opposite of how they behave bro i'm telling you bro don't fall for the okie doke my boy please don't Sonia, why? Please, what's your name? Noel. Noel. Which country are you from? Nigeria. You speak French. You speak French. No. It's just the way you mention Noel. Oh. I just don't like him. I don't like his. I don't name. like it too. Is it? I don't like it too. It's not a guy I go for. Is she a girl you go for? Nah. Why? <laughs> that guy laugh. <laughs> she gave me a 360. Why are you laughing? It's funny. Honey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Are you good? Oh my god, bro. You come with any revenge or <laughs> bitterness, nothing? It depends on your energy. You have, you have bitterness in you as we speak. No, I say it depends on your energy. Please, what's your name? I'm Noel. Noel. How old are you? I think I didn't ask you the last time. I'm in my mid 20s. Specifically, Some guy error. Supposed to know. I'm supposed to know. It's a range. Hey, it's a range. That's what I said specifically. No, it's a choice. I'm a man. I'm a man does talk about her age like that. Me twins is 24, 25, 26. Mm -hmm. You're asking me, you are telling me to know. Because I'm almighty God, all knowing. So I'm asking you, do you think I'm almighty to know your age? Not your business. <laughs> That's, That's it. so rude. You, you, see, you see what I said? Like, you, came man, with, you came with money. bitterness. Forget your mother. You came with bitterness. This, that's your f***ing business. <laughs> the way she talks to people sometimes, like when I watched some of all those videos, they're like, okay, so. you need to build your, your thinking. The way you talked to me the last time, I was like, 
it's not good. It's not good. At it's least you respect the man. Respect the man. So but she doesn't what, respect. What no. I did. What, what was disrespectful with what I did? Go on, check it. Go on, check it. <laughs> See, what you are rather doing is disrespectful. And okay. P.S. You said when you okay. watched certain videos, some videos. Mm-hmm. So which videos? <laughs> Go ask your grandfather. <laughs> This one is clearly written. Shame on you for saying that to a lady. Ah, shame on you for saying that to a lady. Nah, man, you don't get to have it both ways. He saw something that you did on the internet and he, that was his first impression of you. He, he know how you are. It is what it is. Hey, man, you know what's interesting, though? As I watched this video, I really took note of the fact that they have been influenced heavily by American women almost to the point where they probably just as bad <laughs> if you like as far as like trying to make a wife out of them like they got their cue from american women bro like they really want to be like american women i'm gonna say this i ain't gonna say it like that what i'm gonna say is this from the way that they're dressed it's giving da 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 the slang that i've been picking up on but then and the shoes <laughs> It's giving that shakiti bobo, let me do that simbala. You wouldn't even know that type of slang if it wasn't for the internet, TikTok and Facebook and Twitter and, and Instagram, all that kind of stuff. They see American women do these things and they're like, oh, okay, that's what the Americans are doing. I'ma do it. And it's ruining them. <laughs> Straight up, man. So if you're a passport, bro, and you think you finna go over there and get a different type of woman, man, I don't see no different type of woman based on this. Straight up, I don't care where they at, bro. Like this is not what i envisioned when i seen african women like i thought they was gonna be more african not americanized if that's really a word but y'all get where i'm going with this bro i just hey man you might you might just stay over here and just take your chances on one of these women <laughs> oh no she doesn't look like an injury but she just sounded like one oh, Come on. social media and he's a mess starting three businesses okay oh, good okay on a scale of one to ten, how good you eat? Oh, why would you ask <laughs> another <laughs> man that? Yeah, the beard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, pal. Yeah, I, ain't, I ain't trying to gas it or nothing, but I'm gonna give myself like a, a a nine. I would say ten, but you know they're gonna think I'm big headed, so. Okay, tight shit, tight shit, tight shit. So you say you rate yourself a nine, ten, right? But they say if the head too good, the dick ain't hit on nothing. Who is, who is they though? Who is they though? Who is they though? Let me go, go ahead and say social media. Just go ahead and say social media. <laughs> social media. Social media say that. Social media say I mean, a lot of things. Like, you know, social media say a lot about makeup. Look what you got on. Oh. oh you right. Hey, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, because if we're going to judge our social media, let's not take bits and pieces of what just social media say, you know what I'm saying? So I just said social media say he a lot, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to go off of social media. You probably still can. Like you put me in Hey man, real quick, I want to drop a little gem on y'all dudes, especially y'all dudes who ain't really got nothing yet. Some of y'all boys still virgin and shit like that. But look, I'm keep it real with you. A woman ain't gonna start throwing out no hints, no conversation if it's not possible for you to get the draws. Real talk. The fact that she said what she just said, buddy could hit her straight like that. You be on the phone with him and she start bringing up sex, bro. I'm telling you, she already on demon time with you, bro. Women don't even talk to dudes remotely close to that if they don't think that's somebody they want to get in the bed with, bro. I'm keeping it real with y'all, man. If I reflect on all the encounters, most of the encounters that I had, man, a lot of times the women initiated that type of conversation. And from there, you, you getting it, partner. Just want to throw that out there. If you in a friend zone, she ain't talking sexually to you, about you, with you. She's not doing that. She might say another dude blew her back out, but it ain't going to be no, what if me and you did this? Nope. Um, I'm going to pop some balloons first. You want to pop some balloons? How many balloons will I pop? Two. Just two? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what you said earlier, but yeah. What, what, what is it? Why, why did you pop them? Um, Who came up with this idea for this show, bro? But you're still handsome, though. You are handsome. You too. Oh. <laughs> I'm handsome. <laughs> I'm looking for a dominant. Nigga said she's okay. a handsome boy. So who's masculine and can fit my submissiveness. Okay, okay, okay. And so let's go to our next guy. If we can have your name, age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Um, Joe, my, my age is 37, and 
She started talking about submissive and dominant. That's some game right there. Okay, so if somebody really does tell you, hey, I'm feminine, like this is really how I am. I don't got you, I don't need you to tell me that. I know, but I mean, she asked the question, so like, this is the person I am. Right, but that's, but that's what I'm saying. I feel the energy. Mm -hmm. So if you feminine, you always feminine. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna always feel that feminine energy. Just like if I'm, if I'm feminine, <laughs> you gonna feel my feminine energy. But if I'm I mean, masking I enough, it. It I'm, I'm looking at you in your eyes and I'm saying, what's up with you tonight? I'm trying to take you out. You gonna feel it. <laughs> okay. You don't need, what's, what's understood don't need to be said yet. So, but you my speed as far as looks. When you said that, I was like, her mind is different. And I don't, I don't know, it's too calculated. Hey, bro, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, man. Single. Keep in mind, if I'm single, keep in mind. Respectfully, respectfully, respectfully. If I was out here single, I would have had to see what's too short. <laughs> Straight up, is you really feminine? <laughs> Hey, real talk. We gonna find out, goddamn. I'm gonna keep it real with you, man. Listen. Hey, bro, y'all already know what it's hitting for, man. She was double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. What you doing here with all that? <laughs> well, y'all, funny in them comments, boy. I already know y'all gonna have a field day with that one, bro. And like I said, respectfully, hypothetically, it's never gonna happen. I'm just saying. She said she likes it and she was cheating on I can't stop myself for sex. And I don't use sex toys. We all like that. But if you don't have it, you control yourself. You love sex? Yeah, I do. How how how, how many days? Oh, my sex drive is high. It's and his work, unless you carry me. She basically saying she going to cheat. Oh, you cheat because you can't be with it. Yes. But because he travels a lot, you cheat. I want to ask you a question before okay. I move. Sure. You like money, right? Yes, I love money. Have you ever seen a rich man who is not busy before? No, yeah. never. Good. As a, as can a I ask a question? Can you ask a question? Yeah. What's the question? Whose balloon can I hold? Okay. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so this is for you. Okay. Type shit. But I mean, I'm in the game? Yeah. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Okay, okay, okay. All right. All right, so look. What you mean, my name? I can't, I can't swear. Hey man, when you see the odds are against you, bro, sometimes it's cool to just take your balloon and go home, I guess. But hey man, she already let you know what it is. She wants the dude right next to her. She trying to see what's to shorty, bro. <laughs> hey man, this show crazy, bro. Who came up with this idea, bro? It definitely went viral. It took off, man. And now everybody doing it. Your age, I want you to be forgiven. My name is Richard EMC underscores. I'm 27 years old. Underscores is crazy. Mm -hmm. Fine. I like you, but... American looking, bro. You said something the other time. You said you pay hours. Mm -hmm. eh? I pay hours for my stuff. It doesn't show in your body. I don't Look need to show that. Look at you. I don't waste resources, to... I'm sorry. As a typical woman, uh -huh. I don't waste resources. My worth doesn't obviously have to show in my body. My investment should show my worth. Are you a CEO? What do you do for a living, man? I'm an entrepreneur. Then I'm working as side. I'm proud of myself. Oh my I'm God. celeb oh. waitress. Hey. Okay, you are celeb waitress. Yes. You are a waitress. Yes. I commend the father. You accept the father of a waitress uh -huh. because you should be waiting till 40. Hey! Till 40. Excuse me. Jesus. Excuse me. You can't even afford me. Okay. You know, right? I don't I don't do I don't deal with men. Thank you. As a street work. Bro, homie said afford you is like what? Like a a swaka? <laughs> Boy, I gotta watch the African version of these shows, dog. This shit way better than the American one. <laughs> they be going in on them. <laughs> Say it, bro, like. When I saw them women, all I could think of is American dog. If they didn't have accent, man, I would think they were straight out the Ninth Ward, man. Uptown New Orleans, Holly Grove, right there by the store. I'm telling you, I would really think they was from the city, bro. Like, not from the city, but they could be American, bro. Shit is crazy. When did they start addressing like American women? Like, I remember growing up, man, I grew up around African, Nigerian people to be exact, but they was not wearing this, bro. Straight up, they was not. It's crazy to me, man. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I'm going to get at y'all on the next one.